Now recently, within the Jujutsu Kaisen fandom, there's been a lot of debate about one character in particular, and for some reason, people are trying to, I, I, I really don't like using this term, but gaslight people into thinking that this character wasn't bad at all and that people actually liked them from Jump, which is just not true at, at all. And obviously, if you clicked on this video, you looked at the thumbnail, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, but we're talking about, uh, we're talking about Yorozu, okay? We're talking about Yorozu. I will tell you, like, full front, like, uh, just, like in your face, that Yorozu is actually probably the worst written character in Jujutsu Kaisen, maybe. It's it's up there. She's up there. She's up there, right? I do not think she is good at all. I don't like her information in the story. I don't like the use that she was used for. I think she just sucks all around, like, period. So, for those that don't know, Yorozu uh, appeared in the Cullen games about uh, a little on, on, the, on the tail end, and basically, it was revealed in a twist that Yorozu had possessed, uh, possessed Sumiki's body. Who, Sumiki is Bushigoro's sister, Megami's sister, right? And then, like, when they're like, everything's like, oh, coming up for him, and like, oh, yeah, we actually got a plan now, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, my God, like, what the hell? Like, oh, Sumiki got possessed, and Megami's, like, shitting himself. He's like, oh, my God, who are you? Why do you have my sister? And then during, like, the whole uh, chaos that ensures, you know, or ensures, and, and, and ensues, excuse me, uh, Megami attempts to bust out Maharaga, but then and Sakura like jumps out of each dory with the whole you know in chain thing or whatever. This that was a really cool moment. I actually really, really liked that because that was around like what chapter like 14, 15, something like that. It was like super early on in the in the series. And so actually coming back to that now, really, really good. Love that. And so, you know, then we have Sakuna ripping his own finger off and then shoving it down Megumi's throat. Pause. And then we have, you know, Megkuna, as some people are calling him, but, you know, uh, Sukuna possessed Megami, right? It is Sukuna in Megami's body. And so, yeah, everything, like, I, I like that. I like the, you know, the whooping that Sukuna gave on. But basically, like, as soon as Yorozu reveals herself to be, like, an incarnate sorcerer, she just takes off. She just runs away, right? Which already is kind of like, I mean, okay, like, whatever. And so then we get to her fight with Sukuna, and then, like, it's revealed that, like, she's, like, a really big, like, Sundere character. And I, listen, I, I don't watch, like, Etchies or harems or anything like that like i'm no i'm 24 years old like i'm 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 gonna be a grown-ass man soon what the fuck do i look like watching this shit seriously you know what i, I, I listen okay I, i'm lying i say that i say that but i i, I listen uh, peak covid right when you know when the darkness was encroaching on my mental state i would rock with some uzaki chan you saw what i'm saying who wants to hang out with uzaki chan I, 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 I might dabble dip and dabble listen but that's not what we're here to talk about right that's not what we're talking about and she just like goes head over heels for sakuna and she's basically just like trying to get his his pp this entire time but she really wants him to use his curse technique on her because she you know she likes strong guys and and we get this this flashback we get a hey on air flashback which is what i want but is you never you know if like you were asking for a shot at tequila and someone gives you a mezcal instead of like a reposado or a nejo like people that are like you know obviously of drinking age you know exactly what i'm talking about but like it's just smoke dirt and filth <laughs> Dog, like, bro, this woman is sitting butt ass naked, just sitting in her room waiting for the next uh, strongest whoever. She hears about Sukuna, she hears about this Didi, and we get like, you know, hey on air Sukuna, but he's literally just sitting there and uh, she throws herself at him. And Rame is like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Mind you, Sukuna doesn't even move. He doesn't even like acknowledge her at all, right? He's just like bored out of his skull. And so Rami ends up, you know, uh, almost cutting her in half and she dies right there. And then she comes back. And then, like, she, you know, wants to fight Sukuna, you know, and, and she wants him to kill her, you know, she wants him to kill her, but, like, use her technique or whatever like that. Or, I'm sorry. Dog, this character is so shit, I'm literally forgetting everything. I call myself a scholar, but I really, I, do I know anything? No, not really, no. <laughs> Sukuna is like, hey, if you win this fight, you get whatever you want to do with me. I don't really care. Like, if I lose to you, that means that I just suck, right? And she's like, anything? Anything, 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 and like we get some like little cute comic relief things, or whatever like that. We have that Yorozu, let's fucking go, like meme. That, it, it's funny, but I mean, this fight is just a bunch of whatever. Like I, I Sakuna is not really that invested. I'm not really that invested. And Yorozu just sucks. Like, uh, dude, she, there's really nothing more to her than just being quite literally power hungry and you know being obsessive. That's it. There's no depth. There's nothing like interesting about her. Her character design is just Fushi Guro's sister or you know Megami's sister. So I just uh, bland on all parts. I mean, 
like even when she died like when she gave sakuna that the baby rattle or whatever the fuck like people were theorizing like oh like what if she what if she gave sakuna like a new technique or some of her technique whatever like that but she literally gave him a cursed object that's just like electricity who gives a shit that's not that's uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless like in the future chapters, because we like we've only seen this thing activated be used like twice now. Like maybe it does something cooler. I have no idea. But for now, it's just a, a fucking rattle. You know, so I don't really know. Whatever. And dog, even her dialogue and like her interactions with Sukuna are just not anything like super crazy or interesting. Like, I did the amount of memes of people like saying like. <sighs> Like, that shit was everywhere, dog. Can you imagine, right? So, so check this out. So we have her whole speech to Sukuna about love and and all these different things, and 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 you know he's insulting her basically by not wanting to do what she wants. And can you imagine, right? If that. If, if this was like Mahito saying this to Yuji, right? I'm not saying like what she's saying verbatim, but like the context of what she's saying to Sukuna, if that happened with Mahito and Yuji's dynamic. So it, it, let, me, let me break this down even further. So you know how with Mahito, we had his, you know, soft introduction. You know, we had like the body horror stuff. Then we had the stuff with Junpei, his manipulation of Junpei. Then we also had uh, his fight with Yuji. You know, Yuji gets his rage moment. He has that laugh with Sakuna, right? Just ridiculing, making fun of Yuji. Yuji, then he, like, he kind of shits himself for a second because he realizes that Yuji can actually touch his soul and actually actually hurt him with his physical attacks. Then we have, you know, jumping with Nanami, uh, Mahito ends up awakening his domain expansion on the cusp of death. Like, all, like, like, we have all these things built up in Mahito's favor. Then we have, you know, the, you know, the Shibuya incident. I literally just made a video on uh, the best fight in Jutsu Kaisen. Uh, actually, I published that yesterday. Go check that out. <laughs> but then, you know, we have all these different things. We have Yuji's, you know, fantastic I'm You speech to Mahito. And y y Mahito was responsible for like two major 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 character deaths so like maito he has all this weight and gravitas towards him right i don't need to talk about sakuna because y'all already know listen y'all go watch the video you know what i'm talking about right and then we have kenjaku or you know pseudo ghetto right again i made another video on that you guys don't need to know about that i think he's a fantastic uh, antagonist. I think he's great at what he does. And so when we go to like Yorozu, dog, I, I do not care, dude. I think Reggie is like 10 times the antagonist that she is, dog. Because at least Reggie has swag, right? At least Reggie had a, 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 a charisma. Like, he had a cool ability. He had a cool design, too. Like, all the receipts and stuff like that. That's cool. He dropped a house on Megumi, which, like, now granted, it's like, oh, power scaling. It's a house. Who gives a shit? But, like, it's cool, right? It's cool. Um, I've been arguing with Yume about this recently i don't think that megumi versus reggie was like top three but it's it, it's 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 like one fight off of that like it's it's a very 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 good fight i put in my runners up i believe for that top three best fights in the series video but like we have all this stuff surrounding all these you know these three other protagonists we have all these things surrounding mahito kenjaku and sakuna Yorozu is just a literal plot device. Like you literally, quite, you quite literally couldn't replace her with like Euro or U Uro, right? You literally could replace her with Uro if you like just shift Uro's like personality by like I don't know, like ten points or something like that, and you could have had the same exact result. Well, actually, that's that's that, you know what. I'm gonna keep this in the video, but that's a lie because this is just me being a hater because, you know, obviously the whole thing of Sukuno really wanted to kill her because, you know, it's, you know, Megami's sister and da 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 da, whatever. I just, I just don't like her, man. <laughs> I just don't like her. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cap and try to make it stretch and see and, and, and try to draw a conclusion that's not true, but I really just don't like this bitch, man. I really don't. Not to mention her ability is just like whack. Like it's this dude, what even was her ability? Hold on, let me look that up. I literally forgot. I know literally every other character like on the back of my fucking hand, but that. Yorozu could recreate any substance she recognized except for special curse tools. Oh, so she had the same one as Mai. She's just an evolved Mai, basically. Wow. Oh, liquid metal. Yeah, that was her big thing. Liquid metal. Yeah. It just literally, it just did nothing. <laughs> it just did nothing. Insect armor. Who cares? I mean, a true sphere. Again, who cares? That thing got shattered within. Didn't her true sphere get shattered within like one page? When Maharaga like cut it or whatever? I, I think so or something like that. Or like when like Maharaga like uh, cut him or cut her, cut Sukuna out of her domain expansion too. I don't know. I do not care. I do not care. Not worth my time. Even her domain expansion. Her, it's funny. Her domain expansion looks really cool. I actually really like the design. I literally cannot tell what these organic structures are. 
I think they're like insect brains or something like that. But like, it'd be cool to see what it could have done. But hey, no, I, I mean, she just died prematurely. I just, I just don't care, man. I just nothing character, nothing antagonist adds, adds nothing. Um, I think Reggie is way better than her. Obviously, Mahito is about like ten times the villain antagonist that she is. Um, yeah, and it, it really doesn't help that Sumiki wasn't a character before her introduction either. I mean, like, what did we really know about Sumiki before? You know the Cullen games, like you know, she was Megami's sister, and she was a kind girl. Cool, man. I they, they, that is literally like half the human populace, like of, of women, right? Who cares? Like, what are her what are her goals? What are her uh, what drives her? What what, give, what drives her to wake up in the morning? What aspirations d does she have? Right? Like, uh, how does she truly feel about Megami? How does she feel about the situation uh, with Megami's uh, dad? You know, and and, and her mom. Like, how, how, how does she feel about all this? Right? But no, we know literally nothing. She was just in a coma for most of the story. So then, when we go from that to another nothing character. I just don't give a shit. Like the best one, all these dynamics is Megami because Megami is an actual, an actual fleshed out character. Like Megami went so far as to straight up stab that dude in his face. Did he stab him or beat his face in? I don't remember. I, I think he stabbed him. But yeah, man, uh, Yorozu, I'm not a fan, not a fan at all. Uh, if you like Yorozu, I mean, sure, right? Uh, but, and people have been saying everything I'm saying for like, year, like not like years, good Lord. It hasn't been years, it's been like six months, bro, Jesus. People have been saying what I've been saying for a very long time at this point. But yeah, just, I don't know, I, I'm not a fan. I, I don't like Yorozu, and uh, I don't think you should either. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm obviously, I'm kidding. If you like your rosary, I mean, at least it's not Charles. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's me, boy Daffy. Thank you guys for joining me on this video. Uh, make sure you leave a like in the video and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, next video is probably going to be about Mahito, maybe. I have no idea. I'll think about it. Goodbye.